Good afternoon, dear children. How are you all? Yes. You all are excellent and very safe at home. Today, we are going to see text from text one lesson that is unit number three. Okay, dear children. Can you tell me who likes stories? Listening stories. Stories everybody likes. But you know, most of the children like listening stories. And especially at night from elderly personalities. Elderly people from uh, home. Right? Especially when I was very, you know, when we were small, when I was small our uh, grandparents they used to tell the story especially why uh, at night when we go to bed and the listening story only we get uh, sleep we fall we fall asleep okay now so you also like stories right stories of many stories are there stories suspense stories are there horror stories are there King and Queen Raja Rani ki stories are there, love stories are there, you know fairy tales, you know fairy parikatha, fairy tales are there, many stories are there. Some children like horror, you know at night they want to listen ghost stories. Some children like king and queen story, means different different types of stories are there. Okay now, and why listening all this so this complete unit is about the story okay now this is the third unit we are taking today what we have learned in the first unit do you remember yes my children are very excellent my children are good which which was the first unit yes care and concern about the care and concern from environment, from people, from around the people, those who are staying. Okay, what about the second? Second was, what was the second unit? Unit was that the art and sculpture. Art and sculpture. And now, they, uh, in the art and sculpture, they told about completely art, different, different types of art and sculpture. Now the third unit is completely, that is section 1, A, B and C is about story. Interesting, right? You like, everybody likes stories very much. So here also stories are there. So in this also we are going to be seeing the three, three stories. We are seeing A first, then the B and C, that we will see later. Okay, at what time you always sleep? 10 o'clock. Nobody, I think, so sleeps before 10 o'clock. 11, 12, at most 12, many children they sleep. And when they are sleeping at night, very late night, then what happens? When they come to school early in the morning, they fall asleep in the class only. Because that night, yesterday night, the sleep was insufficient. So you sleep there. And you know, early in the morning, your parents tell you, come on, beta, get up now, schooly. You have to go to school, get ready, bus will come, the auto uncle will come. So what you will do? Please, mommy, wait, no, five minutes, five minutes. Do you say like this? Yes. Everybody say, I know that. Okay, now, and especially when we listen stories at night and all, that time, don't know when we will get sleeps and when we fall asleep that okay so this is very interesting complete unit is very interesting that is about uh, tales and wonder that only we are going to tell several tales stories stories what that means what maza amazement okay so in this complete one two three unit we are going to be seeing about only and only stories so what is there in the now today now in this lecture we will see the short summary of this lesson that is section a which is that section a rip van winkle the name of the person you that is our section a rip van winkle this is a name of a uh, man okay 
few names are really uh, as i said very earlier that our publisher is cambridge publisher so most of the names they have given the foreign this uh, cambridge is from foreign university so main most of the authors they are you know like washington the whole, uh, in Irving, Irving, it is R and I R V R N G. You know, the writer of this uh, Rick Van Winkle, written by Washington Irving. Irving. So the names are also like that. Foreign people, European countries, names are there. Little difficult to keep in mind that, but still we have to. Okay. So. The name of the story is so. Today we are going to be seeing a story of Rip Van Winkle. What is that Rip Van Winkle? See here in this lesson there are two characters are there. Rip Van Winkle one character and the second character is Dave Van Winkle. Then Van Winkle is the wife, wife of Rip Van Winkle. Only two characters are there. The main characters are there, and rest we we'll see now. What is there in this story? So here in this story, this Rip Van Winkle is a man and very lazy man, lazy, idle personality. He doesn't like to work. He doesn't want to uh, stay in somebody's, you know, uh, under control. He want to be free. He want to be uh, uh, roam here and there, everywhere. He doesn't want to work anything. He's an idler person, idle person. Understand? But he is very kind in nature. His nature is very kind. His nature is very kind. His nature is very helpful, as you know, helpful. He always helps uh, others. He, he he is very loving personality. You know, loving personality. Okay, but only one thing is there. He he doesn't want to work. He doesn't want you know. He doesn't want to take a, a particular job. And do that job continuously to earn money. That in that case he is an idler person, but he is very kind, very loving. And if anybody, the neighbors and all, if he tells him to do this work, so very happily and enthusiastically, energetically, you know, he does that work. So, but what happens, you know, as he is not doing anything, he is not earning anything at home. So his wife, Dame Van Winkle, she was, she is very, you know, fiery temper, बहुत गुस्से वाली. और ये उसका husband, जो Rip Van Winkle है, जो कुछ काम ही नहीं करता था, you know, उसी के ऊपर वो हमेशा डांटते रहते थे. बहुत गुस्सा होते थे. तुम्हारे वजह से मेरे अपने घर में आए हैं. तुम कुछ जाते नहीं हो. You are not going anywhere. You are sitting idle at home, not doing anything, not earning anything. Each and every moment, each and every time, she used to scold him, and that to a very nice, you know, loudly voice. So he uh, to avoid all this scolding, to avoid her uh, noisy, loud voice, he used to go from his house, and he used to go far away from his house. If anybody tells in the in between, if anybody tells him, he replies, "Uncle, can you could you do this work for me?" So he happily does that work. And early in the morning, he used to go from home along with him, you know, one is dog and one wolf. Wolf, you know, jungly that uh, our animal, wild animal. Okay, that dog and this uh, wolf, it also this both also used to go along with him away from. Home. And he doesn't care about his meals. Whatever the uh, usually the European countries, they always eat the bread, not like chapati, like our country. So uh, brown uh, bread or white bread doesn't matter. Whichever he used to get, he used to eat, and he was not feeling that he now I my stomach is this uh, empty and all. Now I want to eat nothing. And uh, once what happened, like this, uh, his uh, um, wife was shouting. So he got up early in the morning and he went along with the dog and the wolf 
they went. And this, the, the, this, this people, these two family used to stay near, you know, uh, riverside. There, there's a, whoever has a made a voyage, you know, the British, uh, Britain in that European country, the, the big river is there, the foot of that, uh, which hill that is uh, mountains, Catskill Mountain. This village is uh, foot of, means Catskill Mountain ke niche ke side mein ye inka village tha. There they used to uh, stay. Okay. And uh, then once she was also like this, as usual she was scolding, so he you know, went from their home and went in the jungle. Then there, and whenever he used to go, he used to uh, carry one short gun, you know, gun for shooting and all, and for uh, praying. Praying means shikar karne ke liye. And he is found out for uh, killing the birds and the squirrels in the jungle, small, small animals. So he used to take that, and uh, he always, uh, and he went from there. And then a whole day he was there, he sat on the foot, uh, uh, on the hill there and as they, he's now, now time is up, now it is his evening time, let me go home. He said that, that time only he heard one voice. My voice was telling. He what was telling? Rip Van Winkle, Rip Van Winkle. So what happened? He turned around like this and heard who is calling me. But he couldn't see anything. So he thought, oh, no, he to mere dimaag ki baatein chai chai. Koi nahi bula raha But mujhe aisa lag raha ki mujhe koi bula raha hai. So he started, uh, he is supposed to go home. Then again he heard that Rick Van Winkle, Rick Van Winkle. Then again he turned. He also couldn't see. But you know, that wolf. When wolf, he turned around and when he saw that, you, he was very fierce. When he was a jungle, he was a big fan of his eyes. He was a big fan of his eyes. So he was bristled and he looked back. That time, Rip Van Winkle also, when he looked back, then he saw one man with, you know, all dressing and all, they, uh, they were coming towards uh, this repair vehicle where they were sitting. Then we said, in this lonely area, how this man has come and these people has coming. Then he got up and when he saw the few people, they were carrying the cane, you know, the drums and cane, some drinks in that. And it was very heavy for them. So they said, can, we, can you help me to keep this down so they helped and then when he poured they he did not drink anything or did not eat anything so when he saw that drink in the can in the big big bottles he also thought that he if i drink this it will be very good so they have given that whatever they had brought in the can in the big bottle not only one sip two sip Full bottle, two, three bottles. This Rip Van Winkle drank or uh, drunk that liquid. And when he got up early in the morning, then he saw, Bapre, what I had? Whole night I was here. Means, usko wo khosh nahi raha. Wo wo peene ke baad wohi par wo so gaya. Aur jab early in the morning when he got up, when he got up, he, he that whole body was very heavy for him. And then he said, Bapre. Then he uh, reminded, whole night I was here. When I was whole, completely night I was here. Then he tried to get up. So it was very stiff, you know, all the joints and all. It was very uh, stiff. बहुत कठिन हो गया था, stiff हो गया था, कड़क हो गया था उसको उठने के लिए, but still he tried to got up. Then he realized, he realized that उसकी जो दाढ़ी है लंबी, काफी लंबी बढ़ गई थी, इतनी लंबी बढ़ गई थी, और लंबी बढ़ गई थी. Then he said, no, let me go my home. Then when he started go to uh, towards his house, that time the dogs and the dog and the wolf were not there. Nowhere the dogs and the wolf were not there. When slowly, slowly he went, 
where he was staying. When he stayed there, he, he saw entirely that place was completely changed, entirely changed. Then he saw that how where I was staying, this place was not like this. Why is the all the complete house are changed? Everything is changed from there. Then he went and went in front of his house some, somewhere and then he shouted from in front of his house, stood there and shouted his uh, wife's name. But then he, he was, you know, very, uh, appearance was not good, the long beard and all, everything was, you know, spoiled. And when everybody saw the people around that uh, area, when he saw him and he was shouting, he's calling his uh, wife, then all people came together, they were watching him. That time, one lady, one beautiful girl came out of house and one small child was in her arms. Okay, then uh, he said that, okay, uh, then when that lady, that beautiful girl talked with him, he memorized the voice. He memorized the something, he remembered that. Then he asked that lady, what's your name? Then she said, my name is Judith. Then he asked, what is your father's name? Then she said, my father's name is Rip Van Winkle. My father's name is Rip Van Winkle. Then he remembered, yes, I had a small daughter. Her name was Judy. Then, then she, he said that, he, who I uh, am, I'm your father. But she was confused. Then she, she said, 20 years back, long 20 years back, my father, once he went to a home, out to a home, he left home and 20 years still so far, he did not come back. Don't know where he is. Then he said, I am your father. Then you are my child. And she, that time, she got married. Okay. Then she called her husband. Then husband said, he okay, oh, he's your father, he's looking harmless man, he's looking good. Miss appearance was not good, but by nature, I think he's very good. So that uh, Judy, his daughter said that, come, come and stay with me. So after that, you know, he stayed with her. It was, uh, then what happened? Rick related the strange experience to them. Then something was yaad gaya. And after that, that Rick Van Winkle stayed happily with his daughter uh, and uh, her husband happily for Avon. This is a small story they have given in this lesson that is section A, uh, section, unit number three. That is wonders of uh, uh, taste of wonders. That is section A. Rip Van Winkle. This is a very small story, and this is a story. All the units are story. So tomorrow, dear children, we'll go to where detailed explanation of this part. I think so. You understood this story. The summary of this story. Read this lesson very carefully. So tomorrow we will come with a detailed explanation of this lesson. Thank you and have a nice day.